Santana property on the Quadra Island and we are hiking up to at number one, Santana Mine, where they took 175 tons out, shipped it to the Grand Beast Melter. Everything else was left in the, the Orse dump and the waste rock pile. Although, digging around, I don't see too much difference between the two. The waste rock looks similar to the, the dump pile or the ore storage pile. So we're gonna go and take a look, take a chip sample across the open cut at the front and maybe hammer a few samples from the dump. So I'm standing on the waste rock pile. You can see the heavy oxidation on the rocks. Malachite staining, take a look. Some of the samples, they contain a nice amount of calcopyrite, heavily disseminated, and sometimes semi-massive and massive sulfides in it. And this up here is the open cut we're gonna take a sample off of. Down there is the ore storage area where they stockpiled some of their best material down there on that little clearing with moss and this is the adit and this is what we want to sample here sulfides all along here all the way into the adit. You can see the extensive amount of malachite staining. And this continues all the way up, and over there is where adit number two is, on the other side of this mountain. More waste rock here. And up there, there's a prospector's hole. The line of contact runs this way across the mountain and there's also showings that way. So we want to get a sample across this. So and this is the hanging wall here. You have mineralization down going this way too downwards like that let's poke around for a little bit so I wanted to hammer a few from here this pile is about from the edge of there that tree line to just on the other side of this tree here good 20 meters wide 15 meters tall and then there's more waste rock over there. But this is what I meant by the dump material. These are two samples I just hammered that I found right here. Massive sulfides. And then, again, massive sulfides. Let's hammer Another one. More sulfides. And you have more sulfides. This is a Nisic rock. So there's samples laying all over the place with mineralization and there you have your quartz with calcopyrite. So I just chipped out my first piece here. You can see the sulfides, sulfides. And we're gonna do a chip across this 
entrance here. You can see the mineralization. We'll show you a bunch of the samples when we're done. Just pulled these off of right here. See the sulfides. Here's a few that we've gotten so far. Keep adding. I'm gonna fill a few of these bags up. Try to keep this sample between one and two kilograms. So what we've actually done is you see the malachite staining below this area doesn't actually have as much mineralization. It's all this burgundy colored rock from over there up here and it goes up there and you have a shear zone here cutting through with quartz veining and that kind of screws up your sample a bit so we're stopping at the edge of the shear zone which is right here we got a sample from there this is five meters wide and instead of trying to make our way up there outside of where the shear stops we are sampling from over here where this comes down this side and all this area over here is all mineralized on this side so this stops right at about right here so we're going to take our sample from here over to there and we're going to get a true width of this entire thing that way so we got our sample from across here and then across there we got these bags here pretty consistent mineralization throughout disseminated to semi-massive sulfides Enough for a sample. So now we're gonna head down, take a look at some of the ore pile there. First I'll hammer a couple of these. This is supposedly waste rock material. We got a few randomly selected samples five meters apart. One in the corner, one over here, one here, one here. Broke a chunk off each piece. And you can see copper sulfides, calcopyrite, pyrite, and pyrotite. See some quartz in this one. And the last piece here. Some nicely mineralized samples. And this is what I believe is the stockpile because it's pretty consistent for mineralization throughout all the samples that I've hammered in this pile. And they had mentioned in an old report that they had a stockpile below the the waste rock which is up there so 
that's likely what this is. Anyway, we are out of here and gotta hike back now.